Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. Today I'm going to be doing the vintage look. And I'm going to be doing it with pink. You guys can see I have my pink bandana. I didn't really do a lot of things to my hair. I just kind of put it in a little bun. And I put my bandana and my bangs are kind of to the side. I'm going to put a little close-up so you guys can see the eye makeup. My eyeliner, I have top and bottom pink and a little light pink. Okay, and I have already my, you know, for my cheeks and everything, so it's ready. And I left my eye this one. I left it without makeup so I can show you guys how to do it. So you guys, I already have everything that we usually have when we start. I have my foundation, my concealer. And my foundation is from Artistry. And it's a balancing foundation. And it also has protection for the sun. So it has like sun lotion on it. So it protects my face. Okay, so that's already on it. And I put my eye primer for my eyes. It's already there. It's ready to go. And we're going to start. So I'm going to do, um, it's the Alme Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow. I'm going to do the light pink. Sorry, you guys can't really see it, but I'm going to do the light pink on the part of my eye right here. And then at the corner, I'm going to do a darker pink. Okay, so let's begin. So we're going to do it right here at this corner, and then at the end of the corner, we're going to do a darker pink. So there you go. You're almost seeing it already. Do a little bit more. And then we're going to do a darker pink. Just at the end of the corner of my eye. I really like dark pink. I kind of like all the pink, but I like really dark and I like purple. Those are kind of like my favorite colors. Today I just decided to go with the with the pink. And then we kind of blend it in. No, so it doesn't look too, you know, too dark of a color. You guys, I just came from work, decided to do a video because my old videos got erased. Why erased them by accident, but, you know, I was kind of sad, so. So there you go, you're starting almost to see the same thing. And then, on the top of my eyebrow, I also use the same way, same one, Intense Eye Color, and I use this white color for my eyebrow, from the bottom of my eyebrow. And we just add it. Kind of added it to the other, to the pink. Not really, but just blending it from that part. So it's all blended together. And then my eyebrow as well. See? The vintage look is kind of really plain, not that much, but I decided to add a little color to it. But you can also have done just the eyeliner and just like a little, little white color. But I decided to add these colors just to make it a little bit more intense. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyeliner part. And I used the Maybelline New York Line Stiletto. It's this one right here. And we're going to do it for our eyes. The little wing is going to go back up to like right here, like this one. It's 
it's almost there you guys Do it kind of crazy, you know, out there. Okay, there you go. And I have my little makeup remover just to fix this one because it didn't really come the way I want it. Put on a little bit more thin. So just around the part you didn't really want. And then just go back and fix it. It's okay. Okay, there you go. And then now, we're also going to do the bottom eyeliner. Just kind of bottom eyeliner. It's my black eyeliner. And we're just going to add it to the waterline. clean just a little bit if it has too much excess that you don't want. Okay, there you go. We're going to do it close. How's it look beautiful, right? Okay, and we're almost done. It's really easy now. This is like the last, well not really the last step, but it's almost there. We're going to curl our eyelashes. Let's curl them. I first do with my um, eyelash curler and then I add my my mascara. And my mascara is the Maybelline New York mascara. Just add it. Then do your bottom as well. almost done. Once you have added your mascara, now we could just do our blush. And my blush, it's from a powder palette multicolor blush. It's called Blushing Berry. And this is how it looks. It has really lots of different um, pinks in it. And I just decided, again, I decided for pink, so I want my cheeks to look really, really pink. And smile. And there you guys go. I have really pink. And the, we're almost done. Now we just get to do our eyebrows. Just mine look kind of like they're already colored in and everything because they're kind of thick and dark. So I just get like a little light brown, like this one right here, kind of darkish brown. And just do a little bit like the parts I kind of want to make it outline. You know, just the parts that I really want them to be fixed and stuff. And since I like my eyebrows kind of like squared, just square them like this. You know, you can get this brush from anywhere. I got it from Artistry. And it's like a fine tip to do eyebrows. Or any kind of like if you want to do eyeliner or something like that. Okay, you guys see they're almost ready. Okay, so we're ready with step one and we're done, but I'm going to show you guys something that I like to do extra, okay? See you guys in a while.
Okay, so this is the last part. Um, everything's already done. Done. You have your eyebrows, your hair. Everything's ready. And you guys added your banana if you want. You guys could do any color you guys want. I decided to do pink because I like pink. I also have purple um, banana, so I could have done that one. But I decided to go pink. Okay, so now that we're almost done, um, I like to add something to my eyebrows so they won't really move. You know, so they could just stay in place. And it's the Grey Clear Mascara. But I use it for my um, eye eyebrows. So just kind of like brush them and it's clear so you can't really see it so it kind of makes my eyebrows stay in place and then do it to your other eyebrow okay so just let it dry and then back in the days um, women thought that beauty marks made you look sexier. I have beauty marks in my face, but they're really, really light. You kind of see them around here. They're really light, so to enhance them, I just use my eyeliner, my Maybelline eyeliner. You can use any eyeliner. Kind of color it in, and if you want to add, like, an extra one near your lip or something, you could do that. I kind of have some near my lip already, so I'm just going to add, like, two. And I added two. One of them is my real one, and the other one I just added it for fun. Let me get up close so you guys can see it. They're like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then, since I'm doing pink again, I'm going to add my pink lipstick, and it's Vivid Berry. And it's a Color Search Bare Brilliant Lipstick. It's pink and it has all these little glittery colors. You know how cute it is? It matches my bandana. Okay, so we're going to add it to our lips. And there you go. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Well, just to make a little bit more brighter, let's add more. Isn't this such a cute color? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this look. You guys can add anywhere you guys want beauty marks. You can add them. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys can, like, give me more comments about if you guys like it or not, you know. So, see you guys soon. I hope you guys like my pink vintage look. I look like a star, don't I?